Great. Yeah, so my name is Andrew Higashi, and I'm one of the first non-technical hires over here at Rollpoint. And first of all, Rollpoint is a recruitment technology where the pipeline is actually driven by employee referrals. And we have funding from the executives of Google as well as Facebook. And what we're really doing here is we're making employee referrals really easy. And, and just to give you a quick background, and then we'll hop directly into the product here. So recruitment is really changing. You look back 10 years ago, companies are hiring through job boards, career sites. They're using a lot of outsourced agencies. And then what companies decide to do is bring recruitment in-house, right? They're saying, look, we're spending way too much money on those agencies. They're taking 25, 30% of the base salary of those hires. Now, we're also spending a lot of time going through all those resumes with job boards and career sites, where on average, one out of every 55 applicants are actually hired. And the challenge today is that what we like to say is, everyone's information out there is pretty easily accessible, but nowadays people are harder to reach, and just the battle for talent in the Silicon Valley is a living example of that. So what Rollpoint does is we empower your employees to make referrals. So today when you look at referral programs, they're very manual, they're very paper-based, they're tracked through Excel spreadsheets or Google Drive, reporting to payroll gets very tough, and you ask employees for referrals, you know, they can come out with a recommendation, you know, perhaps they know two to three people off the top of their head that they spoke to last week that they keep in touch with, but the reality of it is today, their employees have very big networks, and if we're not leveraging them, then we're really missing out. So here's what we're doing here at Rollpoint. What we do is we have a fully mobilized, mobile optimized application that you can actually download on the App Store. And we host a website for all of our clients over here. So for KPMG, now we're making referrals super transparent. So I know that as an employee, I get $1,000 if I can find the VP of sales for KPMG. And so there's a number of ways to make referrals here. The first way is I can submit a, submit a referral. And of course, that's the very traditional way of referring, where that's a recommendation. The second way is that I can go ahead and I could copy and paste this unique URL link. If you're all familiar with Bitly for Twitter, uh, we're like that, but for all of your employees, so that they can actually copy and paste that link. Email it, text it to a friend, we're tracking all the referrals, and your employee actually gets credit for that. I could go ahead and I could share and tweet out any of these roles. And we see this as the old way of doing social referrals. The old way is broadcasting to your social networks and hoping that someone bites on that hook and comes back and applies. But what we want to do nowadays is we really want to find referrals that are relevant for the requisition. So your employees are not recruiters. They don't know how to go to their LinkedIn and search their profiles based off of title, location, keywords, companies that you've already found success in hiring from, and universities. But with Rollpoint, our algorithm will actually show your employees who the best contacts would be for them to reach out to. And so as you can see, some of the matches here, uh, working for a VP of sales position, and some of the contacts I'm pulling up are currently VP of sales. And our algorithm can actually be as specific as you would like. So we're very tailored towards how specific the requisitions are. Or if it's an entry level position, it could be a lot more broad. And as an employee, all I need to do is go ahead and click on my connections. That would be good to refer. And I'm actually sending them a one-to-one -one message. So the problem right now is that recruiters are actually reaching out cold. LinkedIn actually reported a 5% open rate on any emails from recruiters. I'm sure we're all very you know, familiar with getting emails from recruiters asking us if we're interested in a role. What we do to break through the noise is we actually transform your employees into introducers. So they can introduce the role to your recruitment team and they can go ahead and walk them through the referrals process. So by giving that warm introduction to your organization, we're really helping to convert more of these passive candidates into real hires. And so likewise, I can actually go ahead and I could search my network. So let's say I want to uh, refer anyone within my networks here. I could actually search any one of those. And it will pull up with uh, the correct contacts from my network. And so as a candidate, what you're going to find is that you have a very optimized experience. So what we say is, we don't want your employees to refer a job requisition. That's really boring. We want your employees to refer content. We want them to show you how the culture is within the organization. We want them to show a representation of your employer brand to bring them in to apply. And so now, candidates can actually help. Candidates can actually apply. And they can go ahead and share with their social networks. They can see pictures of the culture here. 
And if they know someone within their network, they can actually receive what we call an external referral award, like an iPad Mini. And just hopping very quickly into some of the analytics that we're seeing here, so you can actually, as a company, see everyone who's been introduced to your organization. We can see the entire recruitment conversions funnel. We can even see which departments are actually making the most referrals here. We can run campaigns with our employees. So you could look at this like a marketing platform for all of your employee base, where by title, department, location, we're actually able to tailor messages towards them and ask them for the five to seven most relevant roles that we'd like for them to refer to. And how are we doing on time yet? And I think this is a good segue to go into Q&A. Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, and um, you know, would love to, to show everyone the, the application and walk you through the rest of the product here. Uh, but to be conscious of time, I uh, would love to field any questions that you guys have. Yes? So you said the open rate from recruiters on LinkedIn was 5%. What was the open rate um, of these type of introduction emails from employees? Yeah, sure, that's a good question. Yeah, so the question actually was that the open rate for a cold email from a recruiter is around 5%. What is the open rate for a warm introduction with an employee's first degree connection? So we're actually finding that the open rate is above 25% for an email that's sent to your first degree connection on LinkedIn as well as Facebook. And though most don't think that Facebook would be a good source of recruitment, the reality of it is now that Facebook, actually they have over 51% of all Facebook users that actually have their current job role uh, within their profile. Um, and sending a one-to-one -one Facebook message is also a lot more personalized. Yeah, thanks for the question. <coughs> yes? Doesn't that kind of depend on the role, the amount of um, you know, percentage of LinkedIn emails that are open? I mean, as a recruiter, I can tell you that we have varying rates that are very high sometimes and more challenging, mm -hmm. depending on the role and how challenging and how much of a unicorn it is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So the question was, does the open rate of the email depend on the role? And absolutely, it definitely does depend on the role and you know how your employees are reaching out to their networks, how you're getting connected with that external candidate. So absolutely, it does depend on the role too. Yes? So how do you pull up uh, on what is the criteria for pulling up these relevant matches in my network? Yeah, absolutely, that's a great question. So the question is, what is the criteria for pulling up the relevant connections within your network? So your employees will actually have the ability to opt in and authenticate through the LinkedIn API as well as the Facebook API. And so they actually opt in, they can pull in all their connections just for the purpose of submitting a referral to the company. So that means it's still based on job title, is it? Uh, so they're actually pulling in their connections through the API. Role point is actually filtering the connections, and that's actually based off of job title, location, keywords in their profile, and so on and so forth. Yes. So what's the revenue model? Yeah, sure. So with Role Point, we're a software as a service. Uh, we have a one-time setup fee and an annual subscription fee. Depending on the size of the companies that we're working with, um, yeah, we'd definitely love to talk about that as well. Yeah, and with Rollpoint, I mean, we have a full dedicated account management team. Um, our lead consultant actually built out the referral program for Oracle, BBC, and Rackspace. Um, so we're working with many in the industry, and, and we know that referrals is more than just applying a technology and turning on the light switch. It's all about what's motivating our employees to make referrals, you know, and really the culture and what we need to do to inspire them to make referrals, since we're finding that employees are really motivated to make referrals in three ways, financial, as well as altruistic rewards, donating to charities, for example, and also by social recognition. So they're recognized by their CEOs as saying, hey, these people are doing great for recruitment, and you know, they're, they're looking good in front of their executive management team here. Andrew, Andrew I have a question. Um, <laughs> is there a direct correlation with um, the, num like the quality of referrals and the size of the prize? So you mentioned there's an iPad mini that was uh, given to them. Have you guys experimented with higher value goods? That's a great question, Eugene. So, with Rollpoint, we've actually had companies that we worked with, and previously they said, you know, hey, we have a $500 bonus, and we want to up that bonus so that we get more referrals. They upped the bonus to $5,000. But what they actually found is that with engagement, it didn't increase with the upping of the bonus. 
The reason why it didn't actually increase is because the referrals policy got more strict. There's so many hoops and hurdles for an employee to hop over to qualify them for the referral bonus. So recruitment teams were actually finding ways to disqualify those employees for the bonus as the ante did increase. And so actually by breaking up the referral bonus and actually giving that to things like Amazon gift cards or donations to charity under their name and quick wins, we're actually helping to increase participation in the referral program that way. Sweet. All right. Thank you, Earl Point. Just give him a hand. <laughs>